Um, what is happening? We have updated our enforcement guidelines. I think Twitch needs to stop caving to these fucking goons, okay? These little goobers that are cynically uh, crying about, like, hateful misconduct happening on a platform that literally has the most rigorous application of its own terms of service. It's crazy that the guys that are yelling are yelling from kick, okay? Like, it's such an overt... It's such an overt and, and cynical, silly ass fucking thing. And it's like people who are banned, by the way, I know people who are banned because they violated the terms of service are now attacking the platform and trying to do anything and everything they possibly can train coming for you. Oh. <sighs> Using the term to refer to a political movement, whether it's in a supportive or critical way, does not violate our hateful conduct policy. As a part of our hateful conduct policy, we prohibit the use of term that may not be harmful or abusive in isolation, but can be used as a slur to denigrate others in certain contexts. In line with that approach, starting today, today, using the term Zionist to attack or demean another individual or group of people on the basis of their background or religious beliefs against our rules. We recognize that Zionists or Zionism also refer to a political movement. Using the term to refer to the political movement, whether in a supportive or critical way, does not violate our hateful conduct policy. Our goal isn't to stifle conversation about criticism of an institution or ideology, but to prevent coded hate directed at individuals or groups of people. We include examples of language we prohibit in our enforcement here. So I think it's like, you can't say like, uh, going forward. Um, okay, like chat. You do realize, like, you're all going to get banned, right? I mean, it's fine. If you want to get fucking banned, you can get banned. I know that you disagree with this, and I disagree with it as well. But there's not really anything you can fucking do. It's just, it is what it is. Twitch is caving and capitulating to people that are 100%, 100% doing this cynically in an effort to literally, in an effort to, to basically hurt the platform that they were banned from, okay? Move to kick? No, I'm not going to move to the fucking... A pedophile Nazi website, dude. Get the fuck out of here. People are so stupid. Yeah, dude. I know. We should we should move to kick a platform that definitely has a rigorous application of terms of service. You just can't use Zionism as an insult. And that's what or Zionist as an insult is what they're saying. They're gonna they're it's it is what it is. You just got to fucking you just got to live with it, okay? I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. There's nothing I can do about it. All of this, like, cynical... All of this, like, cynical smear campaign with mass hate emails being sent to every advertiser. Like, all of this brigading from institutions that normally don't give a shit are not, like, actually genuinely offended or anything, but just don't want any fucking drama whatsoever are are uh going to have uh repercussions and this is what i've been like this is what i've been talking about over and over again saying that like these guys literally have tried to forcibly trigger an apocalypse and and are uh making twitch like they're they're forcing twitch to just you know be punished how do you regulate that uh, like no matter what happens i'm not one of these people that's like even if it's even if it's something that's stupid okay and this is this is a stupid uh a conduct uh enforcement policy it's uh really vague and it's really difficult to to truly figure out like how to use it but like the reality of the matter is if you say fucking fascists, okay, no one is going to get, uh, no one is going to get mad at you. So that's what I will continue to do. That's it. I don't think that, is it bannable to call terrorists, uh, others, uh, terrorists based on their background? No, it's not. You want to know why it's not? Because Islamophobia is institutionally permitted. Hello. Welcome. 
Okay? Understand the world that we exist in. Wake up. That's it. There's not really much I could do about it. It is what it is. Read the examples it gives under enforcement notes. It seems fine. Where is it? Um, the language used to car. Uh, review. We want to make sure that our hateful conduct policy continues to be flexible and cover terms that may be used to cause harm to others. We'll continue to evaluate. Yeah, I just think that like they're 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 caving to um, they're caving to like the well Zionism uh, people use it as a catch all to say all Jews and what they don't realize is when that happens right when that happens then the same people that have been fucking crying about it are gonna turn around and say look at all the times where they were talking about Zionism this violates the policy why haven't you banned this guy I'm telling you right now it's like a two-step program okay that's precisely what they're gonna do now they have all the they have all my chats logged like my community's chats logged they're gonna go back to the advertisers and be like twitch is not following through on its own enforcement policies look at all the times when like people have talked about zionism the political ideology and twitch itself now recognizes zionism as a uh as a as a different way to say you know jewish person um, which is not true, right? I have talked over and over and over again under very academic settings about these sorts of these sorts of values. Like the hilarity of the situation is this is unironically what conservatives used to complain about when they fantasized about like college campuses not letting uh, free speech uh, uh, exist in an environment. And they're doing that. Like there has never been a moment where I haven't specifically offered context like historical context or analysis in this sort of stuff it, uh, when i'm covering these sorts of issues and yet it's so easy to just like rob it of its context and just be like no this guy is anti-semitic this guy is hateful and then basically fucking repeat it over and over and over again and like bully advertisers as well who are afraid of political content regardless and then Twitch is scared of, of uh, massive losses of revenue or even like Amazon, you know, um, coming down the hammer uh, and, and striking Twitch in a meaningful way. So they just like cave. It's, it's people very cynically using uh, a lot of these organizations lack of uh, interest in getting into any controversy or putting themselves out there in any meaningful fashion uh, it's it's basically them, uh, you know, caving to this. It's caving to like very clearly cynical losers who are are uh, falsely smearing people as like anti-Semitic from a platform that has like literally straightforward Nazi shit, like a platform that houses Nazis. You know what I mean? Like, these are kick streamers yelling about fucking Twitch. It's so obvious what's going on. Like, and it's not like, it's not even hidden. You know what I mean? Look, this is from their own, this is from their own fucking subreddit, right? The the guy who's doing this, Dan Can't Stream, he's like the main guy. No bad tactics, only bad targets. They would just as soon use these methods on you. Strategy number one of the CIA when they want to topple a far slash left government is to create infighting. You are not MAGA enough. You are not a real freedom fighter. To my knowledge, the CIA doesn't engage in canvassing operations or advocacy. This tactic should have been left to the autism squad or whatever the secret DG operatives call themselves. Destiny may lose credibility as an advocate for democracy if he allows or supports his community in sharing information with fascist, anti-democratic democratic media figures. Turning the fascist machinery against itself is a fair game. It's effective warfare, and I completely disagree with your high road take. This is when they were talking about going to libs of TikTok. Libs of TikTok, Haya Raichik is that fucking transphobic loser that they were collaborating with. And his own community was like, what are you doing? Like, why are you working with these fucking fascists to try to take down Twitch? And he basically was like, I don't care. I just want to take them down. I will work with whoever I can. I've heard... It, they have a Tom Cotton collab in the works as well. And it's like, 
that's it you are having one of the most far right orgs take down far left content both of them hating jews creating huge stress for the moderates of both parties and forcing both to want a distance from them the meme of this is a weapon of the enemy we do not need this for anime in real life we pick up the proverbial gun and shoot the motherfucker huh <sighs> yeah not just yelling but also engaging in islamophobia in the process of calling out hate speech very weird they aren't going to stop until hasanabi is banned they straight up said it lol i know And like they don't care. That's the worst part about it is that like, look, in the in their in their endless like interest of of getting Destiny unbanned, which is like what Dan openly said he wanted to do, or get me banned, one or the other, right? Um, they're basically fucking destroying this goddamn platform or trying to destroy this goddamn platform. And it's fucking crazy. And no, Twitch will not die soon. I know everybody always says this dumb shit, but um, no, I don't think I don't think Twitch is going to die soon, guys. I don't think that like a bunch of a bunch of fucking loser brigaders are going to cause the entire platform to collapse. It's just like I said, it's still very, very fl uh, frustrating. Um, it's very frustrating to see that like these guys are basically botting mass email campaigns talking about how anti-semitic the platform is over and over again and it is the least anti-semitic out of all the fucking platforms out there and I say this as someone who combats anti-semitism on a regular fucking basis and I'm losing my mind because the people that are doing it are literally collaborating with Nazis on the fucking platform with actual Nazis it just doesn't make any fucking sense like and and in the process they're like like that's the other thing there's like a shit ton there are a shit ton of jewish content creators on on twitch if you were to ask them personally and nandre can attest to this as well as many others they would say that like this is an infinitely more uh an infinitely safer platform than all these other places and these guys that have been banned for violating those fucking terms of service are so mad so butthurt that they can't stop being fucking edgy that like they want to blow it up and destroy the platform and fuck over a bunch of jewish content creators in the process as well as everybody else creative mischief you're missing this part oh here prohibited example zionist name of animal allowed example zionist settlers keep encroaching uh palestinian borders yeah we prohibit the use of terms that may not be harmful or abusive in isolation but can be used as a slur to denigrate others in certain contexts yeah that's basically it um, similar to terms that may be used as a proxy for protected group, we treat Zionists as a proxy for Jews or Israelis if the word is used in a context to promote harm or violence, or when used to make dehumanizing comparisons, or perpetuate anti-Semitic stereotypes, comments regarding Zionism that are about the political movement, including criticism, do not violate our hateful conduct policy, comments that call for violence against Zionism as a political movement, or comments that would otherwise violate our policies are not allowed. Okay? So, that's it. You can't use it as a pejorative. You can talk about it as a political movement. And I know a lot of you are going to want to try and use it as a pejorative. And every single person that's like saying that right now, every single person that's like using that as a pejorative is getting logged. You're most likely going to get banned from the platform. Okay. Not only are you going to get banned from the platform, but before you get banned from the platform, Destiny will use the things that you're saying in the chat. Uh, and his community will use the things that you're saying in the chat to try to get me banned from the platform as well. I'm just letting y'all know. Twitch is going against UN resolutions. Um, no, it doesn't matter. They're not like as aggro and they're not doing, um, they're not, they're not going as aggro as like the IHRA definition. Okay. literally like saying you can't say nazis are bad no it's not like that you can say zionism is a harmful political ideology i agree it's dumb to capitulate but it also seems like it's the same as the wheat thins controversy so at least they're being consistent maybe i'm off base it is no different than the wheat thins controversy except this time uh when uh, most people look at like anti-white racism as a fucking joke uh anti-semitism is real unlike uh anti-white racism or whatever the fuck so obviously while most brands don't have a problem uh with the term cracker okay uh when you establish guidelines and rules about 
uh, Zionism in this way, and you basically say, no, the framing that like Zionism can be a, a, a catch-all or a substitute for uh, Jewish people, then yeah, a lot of people will will also agree with that. Like a lot of there's there is no institution that is going to uphold anti-white racism, okay, or or take it uh, treat it seriously. But of course, anti-Semitism, unlike anti-white racism, like saying the word cracker, is not is it, it, a real thing. Anti-Semitism is a real thing. It's a real historic wrong, right? And I think that's what it is. So yeah, when when you say stuff like that, this is a good this is a good example of someone who's gonna get banned. Okay, like, and I banned them as well personally. But you can't do that. You like, that's it. Thank you for demonstrating what kind of uh, speech now is not allowed on the website. Imagine being 40 and throwing a publicly broadcast tantrum like you're four. Yeah. Pig dog is also an anti-Jewish slur, apparently. Jew here, I didn't know this. Yeah, I didn't know that either. The only time I've ever heard that being used is when someone says capitalist pig dog. But apparently that I've heard this as well. I did not know that, but um but apparently it is. Do you listen to Glorilla? Yes. Glorilla's uh uh llama llama freestyle has been stuck in my fucking head. New update. Terrorist is now a protected term. You can't compare a terrorist to an animal. Yeah, like uh Holy shit, I just realized they're going to try to get you banned when you say hogs. Um uh, maybe. So how does this apply to calling people a Nazi on Twitch when we know they get heard about anti-white racism and Nazi can be conflated with white people, particularly Germans? Um, I think that it's it, it's not going to be. It's not. I researched it. Wait, is it? Bro, the other day, Asmongol said, Chaz said, based at a Jewish conspiracy theory. I wonder if any of them got banned. No. Pig dog is a slur against capitalism from China, Vietnam, and previously USSR is well documented. Yeah, I've never heard that like... I've never heard that being used in like an anti-Semitic uh, fashion, but people are saying it is. So I don't want to fucking, um, I don't. And, and for the record, Nazi is not a protected class. So, and fascist is not a protected class. So that's, you know. Just so you understand, like, the, fear not. You can still shit on Nazis and fascists in general. We haven't gotten to that stage yet. It isn't on the Wikipedia slur list. There's a Wikipedia slur list? I guess there's a fucking Wikipedia for everything, huh? Seeing the stuff about Infowars not actually being sold or Alex Jones posting, though it seems odd, like I'm guessing it's just more bullshit. I don't know. Anyway, America is done. If you had the means to leave law, what do you mean you don't have Medicare? Surely playing the Twitcher terrorist game is also bannable, surely? No, of course not. Wait until wealthy people or people of means becomes a protected class. Um, your middle name is a slur? Wait, really? list of slurs that's crazy my middle name oh my god 19th century on origin uncertain perhaps dugan wait for irish catholics calling them dogan is a slur that's crazy i did not know that well my last name is as well that's not even a joke yeah see irish travelers and romani people and vagrant lower class poor people did you guys know that Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That's so funny uh, that my middle name and my... I didn't even know my middle name was a slur, technically. But my last name is. I knew that. I 
Um, but yeah. I guess the only thing I can say, the only thing I can say is this, uh, you know, it's going to go away eventually. You just have to wait it out. You know, it sucks. And I wish that these guys would like spend their time and efforts on something else, but they're not going to stop, especially when like when when an institution actually caves to this kind of like cynical framing, they get a taste of it. Like there is a reason why it compounded since like uh, since uh, the a Rap's podcast got banned, right? Because if someone is just constantly going, um, this is a problem, this is a problem, this is a problem, and the platform doesn't actually offer it any sort of, uh, you know, any sort of seriousness, right? It's illegitimate. And I know this because, like, these guys went to the New York Post and, like, every fucking outlet they possibly could with this story, and no serious outlet took it seriously. They were like, okay, this seems like yet another instance where you are conflating anti-Zionism with anti-Semitism. We're not going to cover it, right? So it was always, like, illegitimate uh, uh, propaganda rags that were, uh, you know, engaging in it. But that's neither here nor there like, like the only people that would like take this kind of shit seriously uh was the likes of richie torres right <laughs> and it it was it would never have been a thing but then twitch took action against the sabra hummus tier list And then when Twitch took action against the Sabra Hummus tier list, just like the cracker thing, right? It became a serious situation, right? It became a serious situation after that. It's only real if a a like legitimate institution, uh, it, it's only real if a legitimate institution takes the cynical uh, framework seriously. If everyone goes, you guys are ridiculous, you literally have... You're, you're yelling from the platform that has, like, straight-up neo-Nazis on it. Shut the fuck up. How, how ridiculous of you. Then it, that, then it doesn't go anywhere. They can compound on it over and over again and just, like, manifest or, or I mean, fester in their own hatred. But it would never go anywhere. But then when institutions do take it seriously out of fear because they are worried then obviously in that process obviously in that process like now people are going to write articles about this right yeah twitch apocalypse has begun following criticism of the platform for anti-semitism with nearly all creators uh reporting a noticeable drop in their revenue interesting don't listen to this propaganda they not lying all the phases complaining in the group chat yeah I said this, I said this, I talked about this. I said, Asmongold, you're like uh, collaborating with these fucking losers is really dangerous territory. That's what I was referencing. I was like, you're, you're, you're playing with fucking fire. Like these guys want to tank the platform because they're just straightforwardly filled with hate. Okay. That's it. And it's not even necessarily just like Asmongold. Asmongold is just like another party in this process. Um, but it's it's basically the most straightforward way of someone cynically trying to do uh, a cancel culture. And I don't know why people don't understand it. Like, this has been, this is straightforwardly a Kiwi farm style operation. They used to do this back in the day. Like, the Nazis used to fucking do this shit all the time. They would, like, um, dox people. They would do, like, mass email campaigns. Ironically enough, everyone thinks liberals do this kind of shit. But it's usually these guys. It's usually the 4chan guys that would do this kind of shit. Like, People who just say every slur known to man uh, would would so quickly utilize like liberal institutions and their interest in maintaining the, like this aesthetic of progress by 
um, by doing this sort of thing. Asmin's ban was the first thing that started it, man. You have to admit it. What do you mean? Admit what? Asmin Gold being banned for the the uh, their inferior cultures that deserve to be genocided would have been a normal application of the terms of service if his entire community. But it's not even him. He's just being used in this process. If Destiny didn't use that as an opportunity to be like, you know, let's bring in as many people to our cause as possible to fuck over Twitch. Like Ethan uh, slandering Twitch over and over again. Bro, Red Bar is coming after you. He's been hearing what you've been saying. Who the fuck is Red Bar? What? Anyway, what is a red bar, dude? <sighs> yeah, and then you got the kick co-founder saying the platform will either beat Twitch or buy them out. Dude, if one more person asks me about Blue Sky, I'm going to fucking lose my mind, okay? Please, can you stop? I don't give a shit about fucking Blue Sky, okay? I'm not going on to Blue Sky, at least for the time being. Please stop fucking promoting Blue Sky in my chat or demanding that I do Blue Sky every fucking day. I'm like, hey, man. A lot of content creators are reporting a loss of revenue, a loss of ad revenue, as a matter of fact, from this direct like mass, uh, this this mass email campaign conducted by people who want to fucking destroy the platform because they're mad that they were banned from the platform. And dumb fucks in the chat are like, well, what about Blue Sky? Yeah, dude, I'm going to fucking stream on Blue Sky. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'm going to go on Mastodon. I'm going to go on Blue Sky. I'm going to go on Gab. I'm going to go on every fucking website. Shut up. Shut up. Now I'm in a bad mood. I was in a fucking good ass mood when I first started. And now I'm in a shit ass mood. Okay. Anyway, here, let's watch why people in, in the Bronx uh, voted for Donald Trump or didn't vote at all. <laughs> 